Halo Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, It's nice view from here uh, Today we're gonna talk about cock uh, with uh, some kind of gimmick uh, What gimmick it is? Uh, who, who, who here who doesn't play games? I think everyone here ever play games, right? Uh, I even uh, see the one from there who are playing games like uh, Mobile Legend <laughs> over there <laughs> just just now. Uh, this talk will be separated uh, into four sections, which uh, the first section is uh, introduction, and the second is second, third, and fourth will be. Uh, some gimmick too from game. Uh, it is uh, like from the very easy things onto the more advanced things like that. Okay, I think I didn't. I I don't have to explain what cock is. Uh, do you already know about cock? You can do something simple like uh, if you want to do something, you you make task list. Uh, you, you you simply use cock, and onto the more ex, uh, ex, more expanding like data analytic or data science maybe, cock can handle that. Okay. But I'm just curious about you and people around you. Uh, do you use cock? How do you use cock every day? Do you use cock every day? Maybe you can raise hand. Uh, who? From all the audience who use cock every day for their task, me too. I have to raise it. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your uh, attention. Uh, yes, it is uh, something that uh, something that can we have to think about. We have to think about more. So, how can we uh, make LibreOffice can be more used? can be used by more people, uh, not only ourselves, but uh, people around us as well. Okay. For me, uh, as for me, today, uh, every day I'm working with data. Uh, just simply like uh, I want to do some uh, calculation, I just copy paste from my uh, database client and then I, if I want to make a simple calculation or simple explorer, I just copy paste from the database client to the uh, top. That is the most and simple way. Uh, usually I do calculation or I use clock every day. Okay. But uh, sometimes I have to admit, sometimes I use another product as well. I use Excel. I use Google Sheet. <laughs> yeah, I use it all for a very specific occasion. Uh, what's the occasion? What's uh, the the background? Uh, the first uh, the first cause that I have to use another thing else from Cog is when my employer asks me to do that. Yeah, when my employer asked me to do, hey Andy, yesterday the the accounting team make this from Excel, so you have to continue that. So I cannot. I'm sorry, sir. I I'm not a Excel person. I'm a clock person. I cannot do that. So uh, maybe someday he come to me and I see a nice, very nice, fancy dashboard in Excel. So you have to do that as well. So. <laughs> Uh, we have to admit that, uh, or maybe I cannot find uh, the, the fancy things like Excel in Cog right now, but maybe in some years advance, uh, some years later, we will uh, be able to do uh, the fancy things in, Cog, uh, in Excel in Cog as well. I am asking uh, the chat GPT, this is for uh, fun things as well. What about if I am a beginner and I am a non-programmer? 
And please suggest me uh, some tools to analyze data quickly, easily, and I prefer it to be offline. So uh, the chat GPT gave me results. The first that came out from their uh, prompt is Excel. The second they came, uh, this, the second result is Google Sheet. The third result is Cog. So for chat GPT, it is not really uh, popular. Uh, what do you think, uh, everyone? Maybe uh, you have an uh, opinion. Maybe we can talk later after this uh, talk, after, the, after this conference, what we can do to promote uh, LibreOffice more, especially, especially uh, COP. I'm thinking about uh, we uh, now we cannot only promote it by uh, present our by telling them that COP is good, COP have this facility, COP that has that facility, it is not enough. We cannot uh, fight the others with only the uh, features because uh, we, have, we have to admit that we, have, we like some uh, features. Uh, but we have to, we, we, we need to think about something that uh, maybe some people with, uh, with a particular interest maybe gamers or uh, some other community can use LibreOffice for their uh, daily needs maybe. Or maybe just if I, right now I play game casually, I want to play game more seriously, then what can I do? Okay. So that I want to talk about uh, how we can, uh, well, how we can use the club to uh, do something not serious like just for gaming, like that. Okay. Uh, but uh, I want to ask you, do you know mobile games? Yes, from dictionary.com we can know that mobile game is a multiplayer game. You can uh, fight, you can play with some of your friends against team of other uh, against the other team, that you have to uh, use your heroes, your own heroes, that you, each hero has own ability to uh, fight another team, to, to break, to destroy the base of the enemies, like that. It is simple. Then uh, we have to know the domain of uh, what we have to explore. So I tell you, uh, this is the example of heroes in a mobile game. You have a name here, you have a role usually. Uh, with this marksman, with fighter, assassin, they have their own ability and their own good and their own bad as well. Uh, and then how much if we have to, if we want to buy them, how much we have to spend. And then, uh, if we dig more, we have to look at this status, how it is durable. Is it uh, good or have a high offensive power? How about the control effect? And this one is the, the thing that maybe we can explore later. It is about HP, HP like life. If you uh, fight some other heroes, you have uh, HP. If you uh, attack by other heroes, then your HP will be uh, depleted like that. And you have also a physical attack. It is uh, how much we can do damage to enemies. And physical defense, how can we defend the, from the attack from the enemies, and so on. Uh, actually, I have uh, used some uh, of the element from the game. So uh, I just uh, said it that I want to use Mobile Legends games for the data to, to, to analyze. For this occasion, uh, we will focus on the hero's data only. So uh, it's the very basic. 
very basic things that if you are an uh, analyst, what you have, what you can do with COP. Uh, first thing, maybe I cannot uh, explain all of the things that we have to know or we have to do as a data analyst, but this is, uh, I hope you can get uh, some glimpse of uh, what the data, data analysts do. Okay. First, you can uh, import data from CSV. Uh, the second, you have to be able to sorting and filtering data. It is so easy, right? Okay, first, uh, maybe we have to, we can, uh, we need to get the data first. So, usually we get the data from CSV uh, format. Uh, easily, we can open them directly from the file open, or you can do a paste from the, yeah, maybe your text uh, editor and other. And then you have, you can uh, have directly data like this. It is already uh, imported with each uh, variables here which I mentioned before, earlier. And then, uh, if, uh, if, we are, if we have to know what the roles available from the data that we take, that we took uh, earlier. So, uh, we simply can use auto filter. You just have to uh, click on data auto filter, or just simply Control Shift F, and then you have uh, you can click on the small triangle here. Maybe I I put the wrong side. Uh, yeah, sorry, I cannot use it. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, you can click on this triangle button and you can find it easily that we, the role available is assassin, fighter, mage, masman, support, and tank. Like that. Okay, and then we, we can do something uh, more difficult, more, but uh, which hero has best damage? Please list top 10 of them. Okay. We can do it by auto filter as well. And then we need to filter. Uh, we have to click the small triangle here, and we have to sort uh, by primary door. And then we click again. We can filter by condition. We have to list by top uh, 10. And then we can uh, get the data like this. The hero that give most damage is Bruno. Yeah, uh, the damage he gave, the damage he can give is 140. It is the best among others. Okay. And then uh, part two of sorting. If we want to know which assassin hero or jungler hero who has the biggest physical defense, what can we do? We can do it by using auto filter as well. First, uh, oh no, sorry, we cannot do that by auto filter because it, it is a combination uh, filtering. So we have to do standard. You have to open this uh, dialog standard filter, and then you have to fill in uh, the field name. What will we choose for filtering? First, we have to choose the primary role since we uh, the request is which assassin or jungler. So, uh, assassin is a primary role and jungler is a lane. So, uh, we need to uh, put them separately. The primary role is assassin and the lane is jungle. But we, we have to uh, be aware that we have to change from N to OR so that it will not uh, give N condition but OR condition. So with that uh, filtering, we can know that uh, Baxia is the hero that has the most physical defense, like that.
Okay, uh, that was the part one. Now we can go to uh, more difficult things. We are in the mid game right now, so what can we do? What we have to uh, do to explore more? We can do a pivot table. Okay. Now the question is, uh, how's the hero's role and lane distributed? So how the developer of the game distribute the heroes from the, uh, the role and the lane? Okay. We can do it by simply open pivotable dialog. Uh, first you have to first you have to uh, fill, first you have to select all the data that we want to uh, make a pivot table. And then we open pivot table dialog, insert pivot table. And then it will pop up, this dialog will pop up. And then we have to put the uh, suitable field into the, uh, the, the, the row field or column field or data field. The row field here, we need to put uh, primary role here. And then we have to put uh, data field here it is mm, I think you cannot see well here we need to put a uh, name here but we do not use summaries you just have count you, you just have to use count so after we do that we click OK and then we get this data So from this, we know that uh, the assassin role is mainly used as a jungler. The fighter role mainly used as XP laner. The mage is used as a mid lane. Mossman as a gold lane. Support usually a roamer. Tank usually a roamer as well. This is a distribution. Okay, and then uh, the next question: Which hero use? Which hero roles I have to use if I am a beginner? So uh, we have uh, some data about. Maybe I have to go back uh, several slides. Oh, sorry. Satu. Satu, satu. Sorry, uh, it is my fault. I think uh, I forgot to tell you about the data. What data we can, uh, what data that we have to understand is, uh, we have a name of the of the uh, heroes, and then what is the primary role of the heroes, and what is the uh, he usually go to what lane, okay. and then uh, we have to know about this the durability uh, here the durability. Yeah, durability, uh, offensive uh, effect. Maybe he can use uh, some control effect that make other heroes cannot move or like that. And then the difficulty is how difficult that we need, how difficult to play that heroes. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, to answer this question, if I am a beginner, maybe I have to use the least difficult heroes right there. So uh, I have to put a primary role here, so I can know the which heroes to which heroes roles to use, and then I put all these 
durability, offensive, effective, and difficultness into the data field. But I use average, not summaries. Yeah. After that, we get get this data. What can we uh, get from this data? If I was, uh, if I am, I am a beginner, maybe I can use the least difficult heroes here. The point four point is the lowest difficulty heroes, and it is uh, a support hero. So maybe from this data we can know that if I am a beginner, maybe I should use a support heroes like that, based on the data. And then after that, maybe I have to go to tank heroes. Why not mass man? Because he is a, have a high attack, but you have to know that he has a high attack but low, very low defense. Okay, after that, we have to create a visualization. Please make a bar chart for the distribution uh, that we made before. It is so simple, we can just use uh, chart type, insert chart from the Python table. So don't uh, forget to put your, your uh, to select a cell inside the Python table to uh, make this happen. And then uh, simply a fancy chart will come like this. Okay. Now we can go to the late game, uh, something that more uh, more advanced. Uh, Coq is Coq has a lot of analytic function that maybe we we are not using it every day. And then uh, the second, we will use software to make to uh, look for some data. Okay. First, uh, please show statistical properties of durability, offense, effect, and difficulty. Uh, Cog can uh, give it easily. How can you do? How can we do that? We have first select uh, all the field and all the rows of the field like this from top to bottom and then we click data statistic and descriptive statistic after that uh, the pop-up will come out it will ask us where the result have to be placed so after that we just click ok and then this uh, really well explained uh, statistic will come up. He will give it will give mean, standard error, mode, median, quartile, and so on. Okay. Last thing. If we want to decide, we uh, do not have a lot of battle point right now. We just have. Uh, 81,300 uh, battle point. Battle point is like money. So if we want to pay heroes, we have to collect battle point like that. And we have no diamonds. Which heroes to buy? If we have a little to no exp uh, experience in using Mobile Legends heroes, uh, and I prefer uh, heroes that have very high, uh, have a very high damage. So uh, we can use a solver to do that, but it will take us uh, some steps before we can solve this problem. First, we need to add some column. We we have to add some column, which is scores. Scores is uh, I will explain it later. Selection, price, BP selection, overall score selection. Score is basically, uh, we have to put weight, maybe in this one, we have a little or not to, to experience and prefer a damage dealer hero, so uh, we have to make a preference, right? We need to uh, give a weight point from the four uh, points of variables, we have to put the most uh, the most point to offense since we need to uh, get uh, the uh, most damage dealer heroes. 
So for durability, we just uh, can give it a point four, effect uh, point twenty five, and difficulties also point twenty five. We have we give the most point to offense. And then for the scores, it is just the uh, variables. Uh, we 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 have to kali apa kali ya? We have to point variables with the weight, with each weight. So, uh, and then we have to sum all the uh, variables and weight. We get this uh, column. And then this column is for the solver to give us which heroes to buy. It, if it is a uh, right heroes to buy, he will, uh, he will set this rows to one uh, and this price we select like it is a helper and then uh, overall score select is a helper as well so why we have to you, we have why we have to uh, make this because we need to the 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 the, the point is how we can uh, get the, the highest point from the scores how can we get the highest point with the lowest uh, price that uh, the solver will give us like that okay and then we have to set the panel point that we own it is 81 to 300 uh, this one is the summaries of the column price with this selection and this one is summary of the column score selection after that was set up we just simply go to tools and then we click solver and then a new dialog will pop up like this so they will uh, it will ask us what is the target cell so we need to set the target cell to some score selection it is AF24 in my uh, sheet and then we need to set it to maximum because we need to get the maximum point and then by changing what cells nah, this one is uh, I have to put uh, all selection rows uh, selection selection uh, this one I have to uh, select from top to bottom all the selection row a uh, column sorry and then uh, we have to set the limiting condition what is the limiting condition we have a maximum pedal point of 81 uh, this this pedal point so we have to set this cell reference from some PP price selection, the summaries of all the battle point uh, multiplied by uh, selection, and then we have to set it into the PP on the value. We have to make sure that this uh, some PP price selection will have less than or uh, equals to PP on. And then after that, we need to uh, put another row, all selection rows, to be a binary. So we cannot afford, we cannot accept a point else from zero and one. So we need to set it to be binary. After that, we can click solve. And then the uh, cop give us some uh, result. The result is 89, and then uh, from this budget, we just have to use uh, some of it, 75 for 100. And then if we want to know what uh, the result of the selection from the cup, we can uh, filter out the selection to one. Uh. Maaf untuk yeah. Bapak Andi, mungkin bisa sedikit dipercepat waktunya okay. sudah. Sorry, sorry. 
This is the last uh, okay. slide. And then uh, we know that uh, we have these heroes, the Alucard, Aurora, Cyclops, Minotaur, Saber. It is the best fit for our uh, needs mentioned here. Okay, uh, the takeaway is, uh, I think that although Excel and Google Sheet has some better point, uh, but Cloud has given us basic data analytics to Basic data I think we can do with Cog. So Cog is nice and good tools to do to use. And then uh, for small and uh, small to medium data analytic project, we can use Cog. But if you are uh, having a more big, a bigger uh, scale, you need to use programming or database. And then if you need to extend the functionality of Cog, you can do it by uh, using Python, maybe uh, we can cover it next time or the other time. For more detailed and advanced uh, explanation, don't hesitate to visit the uh, parallel class from this conference. They will be having some uh, good speakers who cover the more advanced thing in call. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.